we have seen that uh, electric charges experience force whether it is electric field or whether it is magnetic field scientist the physicist lawrence did a lot of research on that and he made many rules he studied it and these forces due to electrical field or magnetic field or we can say electromagnetic forces he made many rules and studied it therefore we also call these forces as lorentz forces so lorentz forces are nothing special these are only two forces what we have already studied but we use it as forces applied on electrical charged particles anywhere so lorentz forces are forces on on electrically charged particles okay due to electromagnetic fields first is lorentz electrical force that is f is equal to q e if there is a electric field the force f is e and f is in the direction of e f in direction of e the second lorentz force is magnetic force and this magnetic force is given by q v cross b so i will write here f electrical and f due to magnetic field f e and f b q v cross b and what is its direction f perpendicular to velocity according to vector multiplication rules okay so these are the two therefore net force f lorentz is equal to q e plus v cross b okay so q is common to them so this force electrical and now this force controls any charge q if there is electric field and magnetic field both present at a space may be possible here there are certain electric fields there are certain magnetic fields and because of these two the net force will be like this so this is equation for lorentz force the details of lorentz force we are already studying we have done the study of force in the electric field f is equal to q e it accelerates and everything it carries in the direction of e magnetic field we have studied it cannot accelerate or decelerate it can only change direction it acts normal to the direction of velocity and it keeps changing its own direction with reference to velocity it always remain at right angle to velocity therefore it is able to make them in circular motion so these are the lorentz forces now in the next lecture we will apply lorentz forces to different charged particles in the space and see how do they move